All right, today I am going to be talking to you about door sweeps and door bottoms, just all the ways that you can seal the bottom of your door. Because let's face it, nobody wants water, nobody wants bugs, and nobody wants air seeping in below their door, especially on a cold winter night or on a hot summer day. You want to keep that heat inside or you want to keep that heat outside. Whatever you want to do, you want to keep it where it belongs. And that's where a door bottom comes into play. So I'm going to show you four door bottoms that I feel like are pretty common and uh, one of them you are never going to want to use and I'll tell you why. All right, the first door bottom that I'm talking about is this one right here. This is about as bare bones as it gets. This is a $3.50 little um, vinyl door bottom. It has self-adhesive on the back. There's nothing special to it. And you just kind of, it's a door sweep. You just put it on the bottom of the door and it'll seal stuff up for about six months until it wears off. You can get them at you know any home store that you want, a hardware store. They're real cheap, they don't last long. In general, I don't recommend it. It's not something I think would work well, but some people can use it if you want. You really can't beat the price though at like three to $4. Uh, the next step up you're going to get is something like this. This is still technically a door sweep, but what this is, is it is a vinyl fin, and you can see that the fin is just attached to a metal, in this case it's aluminum, um, body that screws into the bottom of the door. Now this screws onto the face of the door. If you've got an in-swing door, you want to put your sweeps on the inside. If you've got an out-swing door, you want to put your sweep on the outside. You can reverse it, but they have a better chance of binding up if you put it on the other side. And so this, I feel like, while wow, this one is probably around $7, this is honestly a great set up. This, you can position it. You've got several um, screw holes on here that you screw it into the uh, bottom of the door and you can adjust the height. Like if your door is out of level or anything like that, you can do that. You can move it up or down just in general. And what you'll do to trim it the size, they come in 36 inch pieces and you basically just cut it to the size of your door. The reason they come in 36 inches is because the standard door is 36 inches 32, 30, 28, 24, things like that. So pretty much any door you can do with this. If you do need something custom, you can get custom ones like this, but they're usually not sitting on the shelf at the regular home store. So this is a great option for a lot of uh, doors to really seal them up for not a lot of money. The next one is probably one of the most common door bottoms I've seen and probably the worst thing you can do to a door. So at um, Austin Historical, we are constantly, like we restore windows and doors, right? So we're restoring a lot of doors that have rot down at the bottom. So the bottom of your door gets exposed to the elements. It gets exposed to rain, more sun, more, more of everything. And what happens with this door bottom is because of the design, you can see it has like a U-shaped channel down below here. And this U-shaped channel, you stick this up on the bottom of the door, and people love it because you get all these fins. You get all this great air sealing. It, do, it does a great job at keeping air, pests, water out of the bottom of the door, but it also does a great job at creating a little pool for water to sit in here. And water sits in the bottom of the door and just wicks up the door. And the door rots so quickly. I've seen new doors, new wood doors with this on them installed and they're rotting within the first year. Not like a little bit of rot, but like mushy, put your hand through the bottom of the door rotting. I think that personally, there are some versions of this. This one's just like a press on, like a compression fit. There are some that you screw in place. I think this is possibly the worst design thing for doors. I think this destroys more doors than anything else. And if you have this on your door, I think you're better off not having any door sweep, even the little $3 one than having this on it. It's gonna cause problems and shorten the life of your door, um, no matter what it's made out of. You don't want a steel door sitting with 
water on the bottom, it's going to rust. You don't want fiberglass sitting in water because honestly, you don't need any part of your house sitting in water unless you have a houseboat. Presto, presto, do your very best. Other than that, I would never use this door bottom and if you see it, take it off immediately. Last but not least is kind of the Mac daddy of door bottoms. Now, I love this for historic preservation purposes because this door bottom is, is called an automatic door bottom. This one is made by Pemco and it is absolutely invisible. Now, this is not a DIY friendly install, I'll tell you right now. You're probably gonna wanna have some carpentry skills. You probably need to use a router. Um, it does take some uh, work to install, but what makes this so fantastic is really the design on this. So in a, from a historic preservation standpoint, or really any standpoint where you don't want to see the door bottom, you don't want it to change the appearance, so you don't want a door sweep in whatever color because you just don't want to see it, this works phenomenal. So what it, how this works is you have this little thing along the bottom here. It's a compression tube underneath, and when the door is open, it recesses up. So you'll, you'll route a channel into the bottom of your door, and this whole thing will go up into your door. And then you've got these fins on the side that stop it from going any further than it needs to. You screw it up into the door underneath it right here. You'll screw in through here. There's a few of those every so often. And you see this little thing, do not cut this end. You cut from this end to trim it to size, whatever you need to. But works great is that there's a little button over here. You can see this button. This little button, when the door is closed, it presses, you can see, it presses that down. So when you close the door, this engages and seals the bottom of the door. So only when the door is closed is it engaged, which makes it great because it's invisible the rest of the time. And what's nice about this, you do have to space it properly, and this doesn't work on thin doors. It's only good for doors that are one and three quarter inches thick, which is most exterior doors, so you're probably okay. But if you've got a super thin door, like one and three eighths on the outside of your house on some historic homes, don't think about this, it's not gonna work well. But how this works is you can press it down and it looks like, hey, only one side's coming down. That's, that's, that's bad, this side's not coming down. When it's engaged and touching the, um, the sill, the, the threshold, then what's gonna happen is the other side comes down too. And you can see the action here, how that works. So if you get one, don't think, oh, this isn't working very well. When it's installed properly, it works properly. And it's very easy to kind of shim and tune it in. So it works just great. But I think, you know, this is about a 40 to $50 item. But if you really are having a high end door, I think this is absolutely the way to go. The automatic door bottom. All right. So you know what door bottom you're going to use? Or at least you know what door bottom you're not going to use, right? We're not touching this one. In fact, no more of that. Stick with the stuff that works. You know, you could go something as simple as this for $7 and have a great working door bottom. You could have a really high class one with the automatic door bottom. You can use lots of different options, but make sure whatever you're using is not gonna cause damage to your door. And that's really all there is to sealing up your door. Yes, you wanna weather strip the sides of your door. And if you wanna check out, I've got another video on how to install spring bronze weather stripping and how it go around a door or a casement window or a double hung window. The concept's all the same, but sealing around the sides of it, very important. But the bottom really is the heart of the door because you need that sealed up well to keep all the elements out. And if you use one of these, I think you should do just fine.